The following video demonstrates the practical setup sequences of the GAM CPR system for various radiography shots. Before starting, ensure that the projector is in the safe or locked state. Fit the collimator aperture selected for the specific application into the collimator as follows. Loosen the lock screw at the front of the collimator using a flat screwdriver, approximately 2-3 to three revolutions. Loosen the thumb screw so that the collimator connector ring slides away from the collimator body 2-3 to three millimeters. Insert the selected aperture into the aperture port ensuring the correct orientation of the aperture opening. Slide the collimator body back into the collimator connector ring ensuring that the ring covers the indentations on the aperture. Fasten the thumb screw. Fasten the lock screw using a flat screwdriver. This can be adjusted again for accuracy and orientation later once the collimator is fitted to the projector. The collimator body is marked at 0 and 90 degrees to assist with this adjustment. The collimator can now be fitted to the projector. Loosen the thumb screw on the projector and remove the dust cover by twisting clockwise and pulling. Insert the collimator into the front of the projector, ensuring that the pins are aligned with the slots in the collimator connector ring. Push the collimator into the projector recess and twist anti-clockwise. Fasten the thumb screw on the projector. Use the GAM CPR calculator to calculate the required primary beam shielding as per the instructions before proceeding with your next setup. Load the calculated number of lead sheets into the primary beam shielding cassette by sliding them into the opening. For the standoff shot straight with mats. Select either the wide or narrow pipe clamp depending on the diameter of the pipe and position it approximately 110 mm from the weld. Wrap the chain around the pipe and hook it onto the pipe clamp hook. Tighten the chain with a folding ratchet until secure. Note that the canvas sleeves are provided and can be slid over the chain in order to protect the surface of the pipe if required. Fit the two primary beam cassette support legs from the bottom of the clamp and fasten the thumb screws ensuring that they seat into corresponding dimples on the support legs. These can be adjusted again later. Slide the loaded primary beam shielding cassette onto the support legs underneath the weld. The cassette opening must be orientated towards the support leg uprights in order to prevent the lead sheets from sliding out of the cassette. Secure the cassette in position using the securing pin. Fit the projector clamping base to the support legs and fasten the thumb screws ensuring that they seat into corresponding dimples on the support legs at the correct height. This can be adjusted again later. Fit the projector with collimator to the projector clamping base using the two clamp blocks and thumb screws. Select the support leg spacer and thumb screw and mat support legs and fit these to the primary beam shielding cassette support legs. The mat support legs slide into the cassette support legs. The lock spacer and thumb screw can be used to adjust the height of the mat support legs to facilitate easy wrapping of the shielding mats. Unlock the projector by turning the key and depress the release lever so that the projector is in the open or operational state. Wrap the calculated number of layers of shielding mats around the setup, fastening them with the Velcro straps provided. For the standoff shot, forward ellipse with mat. This is the basic standoff shot setup. Fit the offset legs to the cassette support legs, ensuring that they lean away from the primary beam shielding cassette. Fasten the thumb screws, ensuring that they seat into corresponding dimples on the support legs at the correct height. This can be adjusted again later. Fit the projector clamping base to the offset legs and fasten the thumb screws ensuring that they seat into corresponding dimples on the support legs at the correct height. This can be adjusted again later. Fit the projector with collimator to the projector clamping base using the two clamp blocks and thumb screws. Select the support leg lock spacer and thumb screw and mat support legs and fit these to the primary beam shielding cassette support legs. The mat support legs slide into the cassette support legs. The lock spacer and thumb screw can be used to adjust the height of the mat support legs to facilitate easy wrapping of the shielding mats. Unlock the projector by turning the key and depress the release lever so that the projector is in the open or operational state. Wrap the calculated number of layers of shielding mats around the setup, fastening them with the Velcro straps provided. For the standoff shot, straight with the straight cone. This is the basic standoff shot setup. Fit the projector clamping base to the support legs and fasten the thumb screws ensuring that they seat into corresponding dimples on the support legs at the correct height. This can be adjusted again later. 
Fit the projector with collimator to the projector clamping base using the two clamp blocks and thumb screws. Fit the GAM CPR straight shielding cone over the pipe and slide into position between the collimator and primary beam shielding cassette. Loosen the screws that set the height of the projector clamping base and drop the projector and clamping base down until the collimator is flush against the top of the cone. Fasten the screws again. For the standoff shot, forward ellipse with cone. This is the basic standoff shot setup. Fit the offset legs to the cassette support legs ensuring that they lean away from the primary beam shielding cassette. Fasten the thumb screws ensuring that they seat into corresponding dimples on the support legs at the correct height. This can be adjusted again later. Fit the projector clamping base to the offset legs and fasten the thumb screws ensuring that they seat into the corresponding dimples on the support legs at the correct height. This can be adjusted again later. Fit the projector with collimator to the projector clamping base using the two clamp blocks and thumb screws. Fit the GAM CPR offset shielding cone over the pipe and slide into position between the collimator and primary beam shielding cassette. Loosen the screws that set the height of the projector clamping base and drop the projector and clamping base down until the collimator is flush against the top of the cone. Fasten the screws again. For the standoff shot, backward ellipse with mats and straight legs. Select either the wide or narrow pipe clamp, depending on the diameter of the pipe, and position it approximately 110 mm from the weld. Wrap the chain around the pipe and hook it onto the pipe clamp hook. Tighten the chain with a folding ratchet until secure. Note that the canvas sleeves are provided and can be slid over the chain in order to protect the surface of the pipe if required. Fit the two straight legs into the clamp and fasten the thumb screw ensuring that they seat into the corresponding dimples on the straight legs. These can be adjusted again later. Fit the offset legs to the straight legs ensuring that they lean forward over the weld. Fasten the thumb screws ensuring that they seat into corresponding dimples on the support legs at the correct height. This can be adjusted again later. Fit the projector clamping base to the offset legs and fasten the thumb screws ensuring that they seat into the corresponding dimples on the support legs at the correct height. This can be adjusted again later. Fit the projector with collimator to the projector clamping base using the two clamp blocks and thumb screws. Select the support leg lock spacer and thumb screw and mat support legs and fit these to the straight legs. The mat support legs slide into the straight legs. The lock spacer and thumb screw can be used to adjust the height of the mat support legs to facilitate easy wrapping of the shielding mats. Unlock the projector by turning the key and depress the release levers so that the projector is in the open or operational state. Wrap the three primary beam shielding mats in layers underneath the pipe in place of the primary beam shielding cassette, fastening them with the Velcro straps provided. Then wrap the calculated number of layers of shielding mats around the setup, fastening them with the Velcro straps provided. Projector with collimator contact shot. For the projector with collimator contact shot, fit the projector with collimator and selected aperture to the pipe using the canvas ratchet strap. Align the collimator aperture with the weld and tighten the ratchet strap. Unlock the projector by turning the key and depress the release lever so that the projector is in the open or operational state. Wrap the calculated number of shielding mats in layers around the pipe opposite the projector fastening them with the Velcro strap provided. The use of the primary beam mats will depend on the pipe diameter as for larger pipes, the primary beam footprint could exceed the 300mm length of the primary beam mat. Wrap the large mats over the projector if additional shielding is needed for the setup on larger pipes. For the projector with shielded guide tube contact shot. Fit the shielded guide tube to the projector guide tube connector by screwing it on and fastening it with the wrench provided. Screw the source terminator and the directional tungsten collimator to the other end of the guide tube and fasten with the wrench provided, ensuring the correct orientation of the collimator. Fasten the collimator and shielded guide tube to the pipe using the Velcro straps provided or with the masking tape. Unlock pr the projector by turning the key and depress the release lever so that the projector is in the open or operational state. Wrap the calculated number of shielding mats in layers around the pipe opposite the projector, fastening them with the Velcro straps provided. The use of primary beam mats will depend on the pipe diameter as for larger pipes, 
the primary beam footprint could exceed the 300 mm length of the primary beam mat. Wrap large mats over the projector if additional shielding is needed for the setup on larger pipes.